You see the I am debt free tracker. It's time for another mortgage payoff video. Hey Stay tuned. It's D. So it's time for my update on my mortgage payoff journey. If you are new here, I am trying to get this pay off by next year, 2025. I have been on this debt payoff journey since 2018 and my mortgage is my last debt want to thank y'all thank y'all so much for all the encouragement and kind words that you gave me on my last mortgage payoff video where i reached under ten thousand dollars yeah so thank y'all thank y'all so much for the love on that video all right let's just hop into it um this is my tracker from debtfreecharts.com and i am using it to track the progress to becoming 100 percent debt free in the month of june with all the payments i was able to make i get to finish out the f so y'all i am making my way through this chart and this is so so exciting to be finishing another letter heading to debt freedom that payoff freedom y'all uh, i am doing this on a single and low income but don't let that stop you if you are also in the same situation as i am if you have a goal go after that goal this is my monthly debt payoff tracker um that i use to get a quick snapshot of what i accomplished within that particular month and quarter so a lot of the stuff that i'm using is in my debt tracker book that i do have available on amazon right here i do have a flip through of all of my books on my channel i have a playlist dedicated just to my books i have available so let's go over what i was able to do in the month of june so i ended off may at the balance of nine thousand four hundred and eighty dollars and this was a tight month, which I knew it was because during the summer time, my um, income goes down even more. So I was able to get my balance down to $9,062. So yeah, I made a total principal payments and this is just the payments that came off my principal. This is not the total amount I paid on my mortgage for the month. And I made a total principal payments of $418. I am currently still 87% paid off. That was the same as it was in May. And I have a total of 23 payments left. Now, what this means right here is per my mortgage lender, I have another 23 months before this mortgage will be paid off. And that's basically two years, but we're trying to get this knocked out in less than I start off the year at in January right here at $11,536. And as I stated in June at $9,062. Ooh, okay. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. So since January, I've took off $2,474. January to June, I have paid a total principal payment of $2,474. So that is good to me. Working my way down slowly but surely. And that is it for my trackers that I have on my tablet. I am switching up a little bit how I present this so to this you. is the paper version of the tracker I just went over with with you and my balance as I stated is $9,062. Principal payment for June was $418. I am currently 87% paid off. I'll be so glad when I get to that 90% shawty. <laughs> Y'all I'm silly. And per my mortgage lender, I have a total of 23 months left to pay off this mortgage. If you can pay a dollar against your debt, pay a dollar. Whatever extra you can pay, go ahead and pay it. It really does help and it's going to save you interest in the long run. 
So this is another tracker that I use. I do use quite a bit of trackers because during this tail end of this journey, your girl is tired. I'm tired of paying this mortgage. I'm tired of thinking about how I can get this paid off faster. I'm just mentally tired of paying down debt. Um, so I have a lot of trackers to keep me motivated. For the month of June, I had a goal to get it down to $9,080. My stretch goal, I really wanted to get under $9,000, but I wasn't able to do that. But I'm appreciative of what I was able to do. So my actual balance was $9,062. So I'm getting there, y'all. And this right here is my tracker, mortgage payout tracker that I got from Nigel years ago. She did just open up a Ko-Fi shop. So her name is Nigel from Budget and Bacon. I will have her tagged in this video. Uh, I think she said she might add this back to her shop for it to be for purchase, but I'm not 100% sure. You can ask her if you're interested in this tracker or any other items that she have on her Ko-Fi shop. I know she has some placeholders. I did see those last time I went on there when she first announced that she has a Ko-Fi shop now. When I started this tracker, my balance was $11,910. And each one of the icons, which are 50 of these icons, are worth a total of $238.20 each. And with the payments I made in June, I will be able to color in this icon right here. So seeing this visual progress on my mortgage is um, keeping me going. I often try to figure out ways that I can get this paid off, <laughs> paid off even sooner, but I haven't, I haven't been able to do that. So yeah, y'all, this is a very, very hard journey once you get to the end, especially when you're doing it by yourself. My greatest cheerleader is no longer here, which was my mom. She's the one who told me to buy a buy this house, this this townhouse when I was young, so I wouldn't have a mortgage, but she wasn't thinking that I would pay it off early. She was thinking I'd get it paid within 30 years, but um, I will have it paid off probably about nine to 10 years early. So we'll see how it goes. But yeah, y'all, this is another tracker that I had from Niger. And when I originally started this one, it was at $29,000. And each one of the icons are worth $580. When I originally started this, I was making pretty good money back in 22. And I was able to knock out a lot of the icons. But when my income got reduced significantly, over a year ago, I chose to redo the tracker so I could have the icons worth less, which is about half, so I can get satisfaction of coloring more than one icon usually a month. This right here is my amortization schedule from my mortgage lender, and I'm currently on page three or four. Page four only has a couple of lines, so I am more than halfway finished with this schedule. Part of this schedule, I haven't shared this in a while, but this line right here that I'm coloring, I wasn't supposed to be here until August 1st of 2030. 2030, y'all. That means I am currently six years and roughly two months ahead of when I was supposed to get this paid off. So, y'all, make your payments extra payments towards your debt when you can. It is well worth it. Yes, you have to sacrifice a lot, but it will be worth it at the end. Trust me, trust me, trust me. I'm not there yet, but I am getting there. So my goal for July is to get my mortgage down to $8,616. So let's see how much that is. My mortgage is 9,062 minus 8616. So I want to make at least principal payments of $446. $446 is a stretch goal, but I'm going to try to get as I can. Oh, that is the updates on my mortgage payoff journey. I want to thank everybody who voted on my community post. 
and most people said they want me to go back to sharing this monthly and going to start sharing this monthly until I get this paid off and um, you will see that even when you can't pay a lot against your debt you still can get it paid off with paying small amounts so y'all don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel and make the money but don't let the money make you and if you're interested in this debt tracker book so you can also become debt free like me it is available on amazon all right y'all i'll see y'all in the next one bye